I have with me in the studio Terence Awa Okafo. Uh, he's quite young and new on the block. I'm sure you're waiting to meet this guy. He's also known as One Rocky. That's actually his stage name. Born in 1982, he speaks English, French, and Pigeon. Hmm. Let's talk to Rocky. Rocky, it's good to have you in the studio. It's a pleasure, you know. Wow. Why Rocky? <laughs> Rocky, okay, because What's, I think I think Rocky, I, actually? I think I rock. Okay, one Rocky is um, um a songwriter, okay, a singer, and um, that's one Rocky, yeah. A singer. Yeah. What genre singer, music songwriter. do you do? Well, I do, I do. I I would like to call it fusion, you know, because fusion. today we are we are like blending a lot of things, you know, bring a little bit of Afro, high life. high life and all that. Afro and hip hop, yeah, so. mixing everything together. Yeah. You call that contemporary? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. So when did it all start? When did you well, start I started doing, doing it in secondary school, writing songs and, you know, writing even for others, so, which I'm not going to make mention. You know, <laughs> people don't like when you mention their names that you've written for them. And, um, you know, then I've been in the studio for a long while directing, helping other artists. When, what year? On their projects. Well, I started doing that in 2001. 2001. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in 2001 I started doing that. Then, um, 2008, traveled, I, I, had, um, I had a contract in Morocco to sing um, at a piano bar in Rabaville. So okay. I was there for two years. Then, traveled down to Cameroon, came back to Nigeria in 2018. So, oh, wow. mm -hmm. so now, um, I think I'm in the industry now. So I'm trying to like sell myself, do my own thing, you know. Like I have, um, I have the song now, Marry Me, which is out there and a lot of people are like, people are buying it and people are listening to it, people are liking it. So. Okay, is that your first work? It's not my first work. Um, my very first work came out um, in 2011, but it wasn't like, I didn't like officially brought it out. I just put it on the internet. The title of the song is Boom Boom. We did one kind of local video. You know? Why Why the internet? Well, well, you know, it's it's a media where you say yourself. So, no, it's, yeah. Yeah, so you, you don't have, we don't have to like underlook the internet. You know, everybody sells on the internet today. So I did that and uh, we had positive response from the public. So I was like, man, let's do this again. So me and my manager, we decided to take it seriously. You know, we are, we are bringing up our own record label. Okay. Uh, micro music entertainment. So we are just two. I was just actually about to ask you who is your manager? Who your manager was actually? Okay. Which record label are you working uh -huh. with? I so was I've just already about told ask, you. Yeah, that. You okay, my manager that. is um, Henry Okri. He's right here in the studio. You know. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. We'll just quickly take a break. Let's see Marry Me by One Rocky and then we'll take it from there. Yeah. We'll be right back. G3 students. It's another one from the master. Wow, that was a nice one by one Rocky. Well, we'll be joined in the studio now by his manager. It's good to have you in the studio. Thank you. Very wow, much. that video was a mixture of English and French. Why? Why? I think I'll just take your manager. Okay. <laughs> Why? Okay. Good. I think one Rocky is very talented. Okay. And it's a plus. You know, today in the music industry, you don't have people who sing in both English and French. But that's a plus for him. Yeah, it's always a mixture of English and Igbo language, Yoruba, and you know, people code, code switch actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. But this time around, it's French and English because of his background. So, yeah. how's he been working in the Nigerian entertainment industry? He's quite new on the block. Yeah, it's quite new. It has not been easy, but we are pushing it, and people are liking his style of music and the mixture of English and French. Because you know, now many Nigerians, they're trying to learn French because most of the African countries around, 
also speak French. Yes. So how's mm -hmm. I been managing him? <laughs> he's quite young. <laughs> this dude, he's quite intelligent and young, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've been enjoying working with him. Really? Yeah. But that was his first, yeah, Marry Me is his first work. And that is the first thing we are saying yeah. Yeah, here yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me go back to him. Mm -hmm. Music, why mm -hmm. music? Uh, music because, you know, first of all, it's um, passion. Secondly, um, it's business. Hmm. That's where the <laughs> evil thing comes, <laughs> in, comes in, <laughs> into play. It's business, you know. We don't do things. You don't just do things because you want to do things, you know. You need to do things because you want to, like, make a living out of it, you know. It's, yeah, it's passion, yes. I love singing a lot. Like, one rocky on the micro. Have you died for you, girl? Have <laughs> you died for you, girl? Now you tell me what I go do. My heart just a beat for you. Yes, not true. My friends and they talk come to say me and you not one and two. So tell me what I go do. I need you. Yes, I need you. I need you to come and stay with me. Take my hand and marry me. Okay. I, Cause I'm in love with you, baby. I'm in love with you. I love you. I'm not gonna lie you. Baby, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, <laughs> nice one. <laughs> All right, do you do a cappella? Yes, a lot of a cappella, you know. I'm much of a live performer than, you know, auto tuned and all that. Okay. Just on a lighter mo m mood, if I was to give you an answer to that, please just put 100 million in my account and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, your background, yeah. an Igbo boy. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you know. You know, Uti once said something. He said um, that, he, that he said he's in singing because he wants to make money. Mm -hmm. But you are saying music is good business. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Your background, mm -hmm. you know. Parents, you know, <laughs> parents. My both my parents are teachers, you know. So okay. uh, I come from a, from a humble background, you know. Mm -hmm. Not rich, not poor, average, you average. know. Average. Yeah, but I told my dad something that I'm going to make a difference. So uh, he's still looking at me. So <laughs> I need to work yeah. very hard. Okay, I, I said something. I said music is good business. Mm -hmm. Ultimate that statement. Do you agree? With that statement, music is good business when it if it works for you. That's really? one thing that's sure. Yes, don't if it think, doesn't work for you, don't you think people should sing because they have a passion for it or because they no, want to touch see, lives? No, it truly, truly, a lot of people do sing. Okay. To be candid, a lot of beautiful voices are out there, but which voice are they going to sell? Hmm. You know, you have to have that thing. Well, I'm looking forward to become a producer someday. So I'm, I've been working on all that and thinking, you know. So I don't just want to be like, when, my, when it's over, I will not force it. I will just leave it there. And I'll continue in the industry, but in another type form. Okay. So I'm preparing all that, you know. So um, if, when, I, when I say music is business, it's because people are making a lot of money out of music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Whiskey, uh, sorry, or no cola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, whiskey, you know, that voice is going know, places. We came from, we, we, I, couldn't, I couldn't afford for a watch of this nature. Today I can put it on. Mm -hmm. You understand, my daddy could never have given me money to buy this. You understand me? Today I'm putting out all thanks to music, you know. So I should be thankful and I should understand that this thing, there yeah, is something. Yeah, I, I think it all boils down, boils down to you developing your potential. That's God-given talent you have. You need to work exceptionally hard. Mm. Yes, you need to work exceptionally hard because there are a lot of people out there who are very talented, like I said. So you need to have that thing. So I'm, I've worked on that. I think that it's time for me to like, you know, take my place and do my thing. So All right. Talking mm -hmm. about taking your place, where would you like to be? Where do you see yourself in five years in the industry? Well, I've seen myself in five years now going for international shows and all that. You know, oh, really? Making some. All right. I think we have a caller on the line. Oh, sorry. We'll just go on a short break. We'll be right back. OK. <laughs> I need you. 
It's still your program, Hanging Out, and we have been hanging out with one Rocky and his manager. The phone is now, the line is now open. You can talk to him. He's right here in the studio. Okay, one Rocky, uh, if it wasn't music, what would you have done? If it wasn't music, <laughs> I would have done business, like another wow. type of business life. Wow. What kind of business? Abia boy. <laughs> Abia boy. <laughs> no, truly, I would have done business now. Maybe spare parts or something. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Really on, it, on the most serious note, yeah. business, spare parts. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. I bring it in, in and sell it. Really? Yeah. Oh, we're going to import in and export in. Import in now. Mm. Import now and then you sell. You sell here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. Okay, now, how has it been, the Nigerian entertainment industry? Do you I see, has I it like been it. easy? I like it. I like it a lot. You know, I, I want to say kudos to my brothers those who have already made it in the industry much respect you know because um they've been doing a very great job they've been they've been making nigerian proud proud all over the all world all over the world you know so i would like to say kudos to all of them like um to baba he made the way for us yeah. today we can sing they can see us everywhere because of african queen we have um peter and paul peace queen peace you know queen. they've been doing a very marvelous job we have new guys like Davido, Wizkid, and Midi, who are doing exceptionally well. Olamide. Olamide. My Olamide is killing now. He's killing <laughs> me, you know. So, yeah. I, I just want to say shout out to all of them. Yeah. yeah. So, who, who is your role model amongst My role these model, guys? Two Baba. Really? That's the, you know, Two Baba has uh, his, his musically, musically informed. You understand? Mm. He's musically impacted. It is heavy. Yes, he's too much. <laughs> because, so much. you know, Tubaba is that kind of um, an artist that can perform live and it's like, yeah. they are playing his... No, playing for his. real, Two-Face is the only Nigerian artist that I know, apart from Femi Kuti, yeah. that can sing on stage without an instrument. Yeah. He doesn't need backup. Mm -hmm. He does his thing and then you feel him. him yeah. You feel the music in him. Mm -hmm. So, Tubaba. Well, I'm coming up, you know. See, I'll be, I'll be, I'll prefer doing more of live performances than, you know, just putting my beat and then maybe doing something on top of it, you know. Do maybe with a guitar. I'm sorry to that I didn't bring my guitar. Come my with your guitar. guitar. Mm. But maybe some other time I'll come with it. I'll, okay. I'll give it a show. Wow. The Nigerian entertainment industry is huge. You managing him has managing been like. Wow. Putting things together, music. It has to be good. The lyrics sound how it, has it been it has not been easy it requires because so, because so the market is quite competitive yeah it requires so much work mm -hmm. yes and as his manager i look at the lyrics and tell him which ones to choose and also even when we shoot the video the images mm -hmm. you know right now nbc they have a particular standard very strict yes and we need to adhere to that Yes, and apart from that, it requires so much work. Hmm. Yeah, being uh, popular to young people out there, they see P Square, they see Two Face, they are making the money, they see Flavor. All this requires hard work. Mm -hmm. You cannot just uh, become like that without working hard. But some marketers tell you obscenity sells in videos. Yes, this is true. Yes. In musical videos, actually. Yes, obscenity sells, but I mean, we cannot encourage that. That's For example, all. the video, um, Marry, Marry Me. You can see it's a decent, decent video. Oh. And that's so much cooler. <laughs> see the smile <laughs> on your face. <laughs> yes. Okay, now, now you have to compete with other managers. His new is coming up. We have Clarence Peters, we have Cheson, we have 
a lot of them producing, managing these guys, making sure they produce good music, yeah, good videos and lyrics. Yeah. So how are you going to do that? How are you going to it's like a battle I call it a battle. Yeah, it is. Because you must remain in the industry. He has an international platform. Yes. So how are you going to do that? Well, um, he started from nowhere, and now we're already somewhere. somewhere. We be, I, I believe it's step by step. Yeah, a journey of a thousand miles be begins by one step. Mm -hmm. And we have already gone so far. Yes. And I know we still have a whole mountain to climb, but nothing is um, unattainable. We are going to get it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Are we playing fresh bits and tunes in the studio currently? Yes. Really? There is one that will be released in a month's time. It's okay. um, for Nigeria. Okay. Mr. Mr. President! <laughs> <laughs> this boy is a strategist. <laughs> Mr. President, we need peace and unity. Mr. Governor, we need love and money. Mr. Senator, we need peace. We need peace. You hear that? Okay. <laughs> Nigeria, Nigeria, yeah, yeah, is our country, and around the world, we are well known for peace. Now there is what we want to tell you, now there is what we want to remind you, now there is what we want to beg you, say we no need war in Nigeria. Mr. President, hey, we need peace and unity, Mr. Governor, you know now. Leave oh the rest <laughs> you know, I'm short of words. Okay, can you do me a favor? Can you take off your glasses? I okay. want my journey to see your face. What? This guy is fine. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, would you be going, going back to school? Mm. And when do you intend to do that? He's here. He said he's always going to deal with music. No, I'll be doing music. I would not like to tell you that. No, you could go still go back to school no, but to I learn could more do, I could about be doing music. Some, some crash programs and all okay. that. Yes. Because from school after school, you know, I've been studying. So don't think that because maybe you have a degree, you just come and stand in front of me and play with me anyhow. No. Really? I'm informed. <laughs> yes. So I still do the reading, I still do a lot of research. All right. So, but you know, as a musician, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a trade. Mm -hmm. So you need to focus on that. Yeah. Had it been we had music schools, I would have been, maybe I would have been telling you that I have my bachelor degree in music and all that. Yes, so, but today, luckily today in Nigeria, there are music schools. Yeah. Yes, so, but back in the days, man, I, I started music in 98, you know, it was still like that kind of thing. Daddy doesn't want you, either the crazy, music, you're no. singing, <laughs> go to school, you understand? So, we did that, we, we did all that, it was like, you know, you being heady. And yeah, but when you go to small, small competitions and you win, yeah, that will be you know, like it's like footballers. Proud. Parents then don't encourage their children to play. Mm -hmm. But now, if you tell your parent, oh, I'd like to be a footballer, they'll yeah, encourage can you. I them? <laughs> okay, good. Okay, uh, all right, Warren Rocky, thank you so much for coming to the studio. It's good to have it's you. It's all my pleasure. I want to say thanks to okay. NCA. I want to say thanks to Ogafemi. <laughs> I want to say thanks to him. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't bring my guitar as no. I promised to him, but maybe next time I'll come with it. All so right. I just want to say thanks. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, it's good to have both of you in the studio. Thank you so much and we wish you all the best in your musical career. Thank it's you still so hanging out. We'll be right back after this short break. Don't go nowhere.